What's up everybody, this is Ninja Misfit. Welcome to my channel. Sorry I haven't posted anything last week. Um, but I moved and I switched shifts. So my work, you know, it's just, it's been hectic with me getting my place set up and just, you know, going from a completely opposite shift. I worked, I used to work day shift, now I work night shift. So completely different. It's really messed with me, but I promise that I will be putting more videos out in the future and on time. Now, <clears throat> I want to tell everybody that we all need to respect each other as who we are because everybody's different everybody has a difference of opinions and nobody is the same everybody is unique in their own way we all have to respect that and be i mean is there's no and we have to respect that like we want to be respected we want people to treat us like we would treat them so i mean treat someone how you want to be treated if you want to be treated kindly then be kind. If you want to be just a big, you know, jerk and whatnot, that's how you want to be treated, then you treat people like that, then that's probably how you're going to get treated. So, I mean, everybody just needs to be respectful of others. And it's just getting said that I go online, I'm looking at news and it's always you hear something about whatever. Somebody doesn't like this person because of that. Or these people don't like what these people choose to do with their life. So, well, that's their life. Let them live it. You don't have to agree with it. I'm not saying everybody has to agree with it. You have to just give them respect. Because you want them to respect you. So you need to respect them. Plain and simple. That's, that's just basically all it is. If, I mean, I have my own opinions on what I think is right, what I think is wrong, how things should be, but there's nothing that I could do through my opinions. I'm not going to sit there and try to force well, my, my way of thinking and how I think things should be upon anybody else. That's just how I, I am. I'm not going to do it. I don't expect anybody to uh, force anything upon me. If you try to force your own beliefs and opinions down my throat, I will get mad. That's just plain fact. It makes me mad that you want to do that. And then if I try to tell you that, hey, I don't believe in that, you get mad because I don't believe in what you believe in. Oh, well, if I don't believe in it, then, you know, hey, that's my opinion. You don't have to sit there and agree with me. Just like I don't have to sit there and agree with you. It's just an opinion. It's somebody, it's how somebody is. Everybody is different in this world. And that's what makes everybody unique. Everybody doesn't need to be the same. Follow the same pattern. Everybody, set, everybody wants to do a trend. And then they do the trend. And, and then all of a sudden, everybody in their brothers, mothers, and sisters is doing the same thing. It's like, oh, let's sag our pants. That's going to be the new thing now. Everybody sag your pants. Oh, let's wear something super tight. Oh, now everybody's got to do it. No. I... Wear what I want to wear. I'm comfortable with what I'm comfortable with. I'm not going to follow no trend, no fad, nothing. I'm not trying to act like anything. I'm just being me, and I'm wearing what I'm comfortable with. What's the big deal with that? You know, hey, that's how I feel. You should respect how I feel. If I, if someone wants to tattoo their whole body, let them tattoo their body. If they don't. Then hey, you gotta respect that. If someone doesn't want to do something, don't try to force them or put peer, do peer pressure to get them to do what you want them to do. That's the problem. Everybody is trying to be cool, trying to fit in. Nobody wants to stand out. I'm not trying to be cool or fit in. I want to be recognized. I want to be known for something different. Doesn't matter. It's like oh well, he's weird. I'm weird by whose standards? Whose standards am I weird? <laughs> You people have, you know, like holes in the side of their face from tat from those damn, just whatever those gauges that they put up, like they do on their ears. I don't like it, but hey, it's not my buddy. You know, that's their body. If they want to do it, they do it. But don't sit there and say that 
I'm just plain old, I'm, you know, whatever, and you're the one doing it. I mean, yeah, the first person who did it, yeah, they were unique. But everybody else that just saw, oh, was like, that looks cool. I'm going to go do it. Y'all just following the fad. Y'all are just sitting there hopping on a bandwagon. <clears throat> Don't need to do that. Set yourself apart. Um, speaking of setting yourself apart, I'm done with that. With uh, talking about respect and everything, y'all should get the gist of what I'm trying to say. You want respect? Give it. And plain and simple. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, right now, um, things are just basically plain because I use my phone to record everything. So what's going to happen is, is I actually got a computer from a friend at work that he was just giving away. He was going to throw it away. And he was like, hey, you want a computer? I was like, yeah, you know how? I'll, I'll take a computer. Now, depending on how good the computer is, I'll, I'm going to be using this computer. And depending on how good it is, I'm going to be doing video games. <clears throat> I mean, even if it's not that good, I'm still going to be doing video games. It's just going to be at a later date. Um, I am going to eventually buy all the pieces and build me a computer for what I want to do. And uh, that's, that's just, it's going to be great. Ain't nobody, it's just, it's going to be awesome. I'll be able to do my own thing, play my video games. People, you know, hey, y'all have fun watching that. Also, with this computer, if it is good enough, I will be doing, I'll be finding a friend, you know, or somebody I know that is good with making animated videos because I have a few ideas about my channel that I want to do, like a few skits I want to get done on the animation side. So with that being said, once I have that done and get the person I need and uh, get the computer up and running and making sure there's no viruses on it and everything. I will be making animation, making animated videos for y'all to watch. That's going to be something that I'm going to do on my channel. Now, I don't know how often I'm going to be doing those, but I know maybe once every month or two, I might come out with an animated video. Um, also, update on the Geek Fuel. Or the unboxing videos. I'll be. I'm gonna keep doing those. Geek Fuel is still gonna be the one I'm gonna do. I am going to buy a year subscription. So I just do. One, I pay one flat out rate, which I think is two hundred and thirty eight dollars and like ninety cents. Which equivalent? It's gonna be basically. It's gonna be cheaper than what I am paying on a monthly sir on for a monthly service. <clears throat> so. When I do that, I am going to be choosing from three other subscription box services. Either I'm going to be choosing from the One Up Power, the One Up Box, if I'm correct, it's One Up Box or the One Up Power Box. I can't remember. Um, I'm going to be choosing that one, or the other two is going to be the Marvel Core Box. And the third one is going to be my geeky goodies. Those are the three I'm going to choose from. Uh, and depending on how I like them, I might keep doing, I might do, uh, well, I know I'm going to do two or three. And if I do like those, then I'm going to do the same thing like I'm doing with the Geek Fuel. I am going to set up a year subscription with them and it's going to keep going down, keep trickling down. Eventually, hopefully, I can get through all the subscription box services that I saw out there that I do like and give my opinions on them. That way, y'all can sign up or, you know, you don't even have to sign up just to see what somebody else got or see what it's about. Maybe you'll sign up then. Maybe you'll sign up later. Also, another thing that is going on is... Hopefully in the next two months I'll have a real camcorder and I can stop using my phone to record everything with. And that's probably why right now when I post this video it'll probably have the worst quality because I'm using the front end camera on my phone. 
but I've been using my phone and hopefully with this camcorder I will it'll be a lot better quality the sound will be better and <clears throat> just everything will be better in a whole so that's another thing that I'm going to do um another thing that I'm planning on doing is I'm going to be doing a giveaway I got an idea of what I'm going to do but what I'm going to give away I don't know y'all keep in tune for that you know I will uh, <clears throat> keep it keep updated when I do plan on doing a giveaway I'll tell y'all in a video about the giveaway and and give you the details of what you have to do to you know become the person who might win this whatever I get could be a box could be you know um, a shirt or just something that I'm going to do and uh, it's just I'm gonna do a giveaway I don't know how often I'm gonna do those either but I am going to do it um <clears throat> now I also have something to say about giving up all right don't give up on anything you do okay if you have a dream that you want to accomplish or that you want <clears throat> to come true do what you have to do to get it. i mean not anything illegal bottom my you know don't ever do anything illegal because it's it comes back on you. It will come back on you. You may not think so, but it will. But set yourself up so you don't fail. When I, like a couple years ago, there was somebody who told me the best way to succeed is you got to be prepared. When you are prepared to help build your confidence up, and when you are confident, then you will succeed in what you do. When you succeed, it makes you feel better. Another thing they also told me is to set small goals. So don't set up a big, like a huge goal that like you want to buy a house. If you want to go and buy a house, set up little goals to build up to that. Like if you have to build your credit, do stuff that you have to, you know, do little stuff so you can build your credit. And then build it up to where you want it. And with that, <clears throat> you know you reach that goal then you set up the next goal next goal may be to save up the money that you need to put for a down payment then after that set up the next goal of you know getting all the information that you need to get and doing what you have to do to do it but what I'm but basically all in all is set yourself up with little goals you start off with a little goal and it helps build your confidence in making you feel like a better person. I know that I started YouTube, uh, before I even started, I was scared that I wasn't gonna, that I was gonna fail, I wasn't gonna be popular, nobody was gonna watch me, I wasn't gonna, you know, have any subscribers, but, you know, I, the two biggest, YouTubers that I follow are Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and I was watching a vlog of Markiplier's one day and he was telling people you know hey don't be six don't be scared to do something and I'm and I'm just paraphrasing but and what what I heard is don't be scared to do what you want to do if you want to go and do YouTube do it there's a lot of people out there wanting to do YouTube and it's going to be hard, of course, but that's with anything you do. If you want to start up your own business, you you know, anything you want to do, it's going to be hard, but it's going to take work. And that's something that I'm not scared to do. I'm not scared to work, but, and neither should y'all. Y'all should not be scared to work because when you work and you succeed at what you're doing, it makes you feel good. Even when you fail, at least you will learn what you know, if you do, when you fail, use that as a learning stone to figure out what you did wrong to cause you to fail. And next thing, keep going at it. Keep doing what you have to do to succeed. 
just take one step at a time. That's what I that's what I took from Markiplier. Jack said the guy he was saying the same thing. Like he he did vlogs and he was talking about you know, hey, when he started YouTube, people used to say, oh, there's people that's going to talk bad about him. And he thought that he was doing a bad job. Come to find out, that's what a lot of people do, is talk bad about YouTubers. They pick stuff that they don't like. And the problem is, is that it's not that they don't like them. It's just the fact that they can't stand to see someone successful. A lot of people in your life are not going to want to see you succeed. And they're going to hate on you. What you have to do is you have to cut them out and keep going. Don't or just don't pay them no mind. Just cut them out. Don't pay them no mind, and keep doing what you're doing to get where you want to get in your life. Because it's your life, not theirs. Don't let anybody talk down to you or talk bad about you to make you not want to go. Make you feel like what you're doing isn't worth it. Because whatever you're doing to succeed. It is worth it. And they're just saying that because they dislike seeing people succeed. That's what I learned from Markiplier and from Jack Septic Guy. It's to sit, use, just, just use what you can from failing. Learn from that. And keep going. And eventually you'll succeed. When I first started this, I mean, the first video I did was a my unboxing. When I watched that, wasn't too long after I watched that Markiplier video talking about going on and to uh, follow your dreams, basically. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop letting fear bring me down and I'm going to go and do what I have to do. So I ordered Geek Fuel and when I got it, I did my first video. I was nervous to all hell. But as you see in my videos, I've become more comfortable and I'm not looking like a robot. Eh, eh, eh. All tight and everything. Like I need to put some oil in my hinges so I can keep moving. <laughs> it's just, I've gotten over it. And I have 13 subscribers. And that to me is just is amazing that... 13 people have actually subscribed and that they watch me. I have friends that ask me all the time. They text me or hit me up on Kick or Line or ask me at work, like, hey, when you're doing your next video. And then I tell them, you know, when I'm probably going to do one. And they're like, all right, man, I can't wait to see your next one. Because they, it's something that they like to see. And that means to me that what I was saying in my vlogs hit them. And made them feel some kind of way and they're they're taking it and it you know that's what I want. I want to help people. That's just the kind of person I am. I am a helpful person. Now I'm not saying I'm a stupid person, I'm not saying I'm a gullible person and I'm gonna believe everything and I'm just gonna go out on hell and high water for everybody. But I will try to help you to the best of my ability. That's just how I am. Whether it be somebody to talk to, which a lot of my friends do confide in, confide in me and ask me questions. And I try to help them the best I can to help them overcome whatever the pro whatever problem they are having. That's just what I do. Um, but hopefully I can help people. I can build a community that's going to be like a rock. You know, there's going to be nothing there and that nothing can break it. It's going to be the hardest rock of people that will help each other and, and you know, of the lives and just me being able to help them and touch their lives is going to help me. It's going to make me feel good because I can't stand watching somebody get put down because it just hurts me watching people get put down. So... Hopefully, that's what I can do with my videos. Hopefully, you know, hey, more people will subscribe. I mean, it will take time, but I'm going to keep doing what I have to do and keep doing what I am doing, which is to keep moving. You know, my first video did 73 views, and after that, I had no nowhere near that same amount of views on any other 
video other than my last one. I hit 95 views, which I'm pretty sure within the next couple months or whatever will go up. I'll hit 100. But to me, that's, that's amazing that 95 people have watched a video made by me just talking about a box. Or even, you know, I have 13 subscribers. Even the fact that I know one video, one vlog of mine has like 35 views. That means 35 people sat down and took their time to watch these videos and I hope it helped them. And that's just basically how it's going to be. I will eventually have an intro, an outro, and I will, my video quality will be better. And as I grow, hopefully, so will the people who follow me and the people who watch me. So, I mean, that's really what it's about. It's just helping the people with whatever I can with these words. Maybe helping them through a hard time. So just remember, everybody, don't give up. Try your best. And don't let nobody put you down. Because... Deep down, we're all human. That's the only kind that we have. Humankind, or the human race, whatever you want to say. We are all born the same to me. I mean, we're born to live, we struggle, we learn. Everybody is the same. You know, I mean, there's... Is that when I say we're the same, I'm talking about we are the same in the eyes of you know, to me, in my eyes, everybody is the same, and, we'll, and that means that we all are different, we're the same by being different. That's what I mean. Sorry, I kept going in my head trying to make make it sound more complex than it was. But we're all the same because we're all born, we all bleed, and we're all different. I don't care what anybody says. Nobody, no two people in this world will be alike. Anyway, everybody, hit a like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on my next video, everybody. Peace.